Hello there, Fellowship of the Raya. Have you here in South Korea? I'm enjoying in what my Soren Seven Seas Gold. And the topic of the video is about saving money. Or the illusion, perhaps, of saving money. And I read that's called uh, Weber's Law. And it's the idea that many of us, when you are looking for something and you will want to save some money of it. Uh, the amount that you save or you disregard it's uh, relative to the total value of the service or the good that you're getting let me rephrase that with an example you will go way and beyond to save $25 of a pipe that costs um, in a store $100 but online $75 so naturally you will go for the online version that is $75 well perhaps not naturally but most of us will do that however the same people who save those $25 choosing the online version of that pipe wouldn't matter if you're buying a TV set, for instance, that um, in this store is $1,000.25 and the other store is just $1,000. You will say, ah, it's just $1,000. It's, it's just 25 bucks. So, uh, what the hell? Let's just buy it here and save time. It's not worth to drive all to the other side of um, uh, town to find a store that will that will have that the same TV set for 25 do, uh, bucks less and you put the same thing on a pipe you could have those two stores across the town one is $100 the other one is $75 you will likely drive around uh, town just to find those um, just to save those $25 now there's nothing wrong with, with that approach because it's it's embedded in our brains to to assign value proportional to what you have at the end but anyway it's exactly the same amount of money um, how much we drive around to find a, a cup of coffee that is 50 cents less and how much gasoline, how much petrol are we are we wasting doing that? Or the value of your time? And I wonder, I do that. I mean, I consider, okay, so this, um, this particular thing that I bought will cost me $5 more or $10 more or, or $50 more because uh, I'm paying that I'm not going to drive around or something like that. How many of you do the same? How many of you fall into the illusion of the free shipping? So you go to this pipe or tobacco online retailer and, and you will keep filling that card till you have more than $99 so you will have the free shipping. And you know who am I talking to? Who am I kidding? It's all of us. Anybody else, anybody else falls for that? Those are my random th thoughts for today. As always, my friends, puff away.